You know, you've seen them fish for it. You've seen them drag it in them boats. You even seen them go under the water and noodle and drag it out. Catch it on the bank. But folks, I'm talking this is the best way to catch it, and that is to catch it and put it on the smoker. Yeah, you heard me. Ain't no more frying fish. We're smoking this catfish in a marinade that is so good. Mm, it is the best thing you're ever going to have. And guess what? I got you a bonus, too. I'm throwing in some homemade tartar sauce. Come on. I'm going to get the smoke to rolling. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard on a very breezy day in southwest Oklahoma. It is a skirt alert day. Put a rock in your pocket. It might blow you away if you don't. And what are we talking about? Smoked catfish. I hear you out there. You're saying, hey, can't we fry that catfish? Folks, I have fried me a lot of that catfish, and we have a crispy fried catfish video. Best crust ever. But folks, I'm looking at something that's so easy. It don't take but about 45 minutes to an hour, and the flavors you get from that marinade off that catfish with some good alder wood smoke and a little bit of fruit to mix with that. Hey, this is healthy eating and it's so easy. And guess what? Not only is it good hot, but folks, you let this stuff cool in icebox four or five hours and make you a fish sandwich. The drive up one day, McDonald's ain't got nothing no better than this. I promise you, this is some good eating and the phone is ringing. <laughs> So folks, let's talk about these catfish fillets as they call them down south. We just always called them catfish. Now, catfish is very easily to fillet. It is just running across there. If you can go to farm pond and reel your one in like that, ain't nothing better than fresh. But folks, I really like to rinse them catfish really good with cold water, no matter did I buy them out of the store or catch them out of the farm pond. And just let them sit over in that cold water for just a minute till we get this marinade made. Now you see me in a large mixing bowl, take me some olive oil, some honey, some red wine vinegar, and a mixed assortment of great spices. It was with a little chili powder. Don't forget the dill seed, the rosemary, and what? The Red River Ranch original. Give it a good stirring up there. Take them fillets out. Let them just sit there a minute. Wipe that excess moisture off of them you do, and then just dip them down in that good marinade. Get them all coated well. Put them in one of them Ziploc bags. All three of them. I was going to cook four, but we didn't have four. I couldn't catch but three. So Run them all through there and then pour the remaining ingredients of that marinade in that baggie and then just mash that baggie all around. In fact, I got some right here. I'll sort of show you what we're after. So you just mash all that around, set her in that ice box, and folks, you gotta let it set at least four hours and then drag it out, let it come to room temperature. Go out there to your little smoker or your grill, whatever you're gonna use to do this. Get you about two big heaping handfuls of some hardwood lump. Put her down there on one end because we're going to cook this on the indirect side. We're going to smoke it down there on the other end. And then let's talk about this alder wood. Will sent this to me because we was talking about smoking woods on that video. We had the different type of woods that give you all this flavor. And I always wanted to try me some alder wood. I didn't have none. So Will, he done sent me two bags and I done used one of them up. It is some good stuff, folks. A good mellow sort of sweet smoke to me that blends so much greatness into flavors. It's not overpowering and that's what I like on fish. But about halfway through, due to the good drought in Oklahoma, there was one blessing come out of the deal. We had a peach tree, didn't make it. So we're gonna add a little peach wood about halfway through this because I like to mix a little fruit wood with it as it smokes along. But don't quit me now because I'm gonna throw you in as a bonus some homemade tartar sauce. So let's get this fish on the grill, get it to going, we'll make that tartar sauce. Now, you see me put them two handfuls of hardwood lump in there using oak today to start this off with, and we let them get good and white hot. That's where I'm after. And then you see me pour some of them alder chips in there and soak them in some water, but folks, I done drained the water off of them. They soaked about 10 minutes, and I like to just place them right on top because I want to get some smoking action. Now we will mix some dry with this a little bit later, but let's get this started. And let's talk about the temp we're trying to keep this little smoker grill combination on this hasty bacon. That is between 225 and 250. This is about a 45 minute to an hour cook, depending on how big your fillets are. So the grill is hot, it's been cleaned, it's been oiled. Let's get them fillets on there. Well, I can see the smoke is a rolling, it is, and we're right at 250 we are. So, Coles is on this end. <laughs> can y'all see that? 
it is on this end so we're going to cook them little catfishes down here on this end we got them out of that marinade i just asked you to pick them up and let a little of that oil just run off for just a minute and you can lay them anywhere you want to but i'm just going to lay them right there just like that single file and like i say there was going to be four but kent didn't catch but three so let me get this one on there shut that lid and the time is, I don't know what, but we're going to go about 45 minutes or an hour. But 20 minutes in, folks, I'm going to add some more dry alder chips and a little bit of that peach tree that I've cut up. So we'll keep an eye on this. These vents are closed, so we're going to open them just a tad so we can get that circulation of smoke. And then this one on this end is open just a little. Smoke travels right through that catfish and just keeps everybody loved up. While this is cooking... We'll get them ingredients for that tartar sauce and we'll get it whipped up, place it in the icebox because it needs to set a little bit. Well, let's talk about this dipping sauce you put on fish. At my house forever, it was what? Ketchup. That's all we ever had. Put some ketchup on some fish. Went to many a fish fry. All that was ever broke out was ketchup. And one, what do you mean shaking your head about? No, we need more, Kent. Oh, more. So, Shanna is a tartar sauce fan. Yeah. And so is her mother and I'm thinking, hey, I can make tartar sauce, but you got to start with what? Y'all know it's coming. Duke's mayo. Uh-huh. It is the best stuff. So let's get some of that in that mixing bowl. It makes some really good tartar sauce. Now, I've eaten all kinds of this stuff, and I like mine to have a little bite. And a lot of times you won't see horseradish in tartar sauce, but you're going to see it today, folks, if I can get some out of there. About, well, not that much. <laughs> At one time there was a spoon out here, but not no more. So we're just going to do it like that. Now, two little dill pickles. Now you can use as many as you like because we're going to add a little more of this sort of dilly taste with it. But that is going to be in the form of some capers that we're going to chop. So if you're a fond of a dill, hey, use as many as you want and then throw them capers in there too. But I like to chop them up pretty good to where it mixes in and blends well. You're a pretty big dill. Whoa! <laughs> when I was on ranches, and I've cooked on a lot of ranches, and I try to cook like I would at home for cowboys and make things that I liked and that I thought that they might not ever get on any other ranch, and I would have certain nights that was designated for certain foods. So... We'd gather them folks around the wagon and they'd have fish on Friday nights and hmm, it was always such a blessing after we blessed the food to see them come back time after time after time. Because folks on a ranch traditionally you weren't going to get much more than beans and beef and taters and something else on their throat in. But I'd break it up, have pork chops one night, fish one night, steak one night, chicken fried steak one night, order sushi out one night, go to Pizza Hut the next night. Is that That's pretty close to how it worked, ain't it, Shin? But I don't think I ever made tartar sauce on the ranch, but I did have a cowboy ask for it one time. And I told him, no, not here, my friend, not here. So let me get them little dill pickles in there. Some of them didn't make the trip, but they got close. So next, a little bit of lemon juice, uh-huh, about that much. And then we're gonna get us some of these capers. Now you can put them in whole or you can chop them. Me. I like to chop them just a tad. So is it all right, Chan, with this other camera if I move this bowl for just a minute? Yes. Thank you so much. So dump you some of them little round things out of there. I would say about that many. And if you can find them and round them up, they're sort of hard to see every once in a while, and chop them up pretty good, and we'll mix them in there. And that juice that was with it, that's just added flavor. So in they go as well. There went the cheat sheet. We don't need it no more. <laughs> Hey, yep, yep, yep. Good breeze it is. I know the recipe by heart now. I memorized it as it was flying around. A little bit of the W sauce. You know what I mean? Worcestershire. It don't take much. The beagle says when you break out food, people show up. Give it a good stir, folks. Now at this time, if you wish, you can adjust the taste. And you can make it whatever you want. I've seen people add a little sugar to it. I've seen people add a little more red wine vinegar to it. Something like that. Me with them capers and them dill pickles. I think it's just right. I ain't going to add nothing else to it. Get it in the icebox. Let it set about an hour or the remaining time. We got cooking on these catfish. Let it chill. 
all them flavors come together, it's gonna be good. Don't quit me because I need to add some peach wood to this. Now folks, it's been about 20 minutes it has. Let's take a peek in here. Whew, things is happening just right. You can see the colors are changing. And I'm gonna tell you what, you don't ever flip these catfish. They just sit right there in that same position, swimming right there on the bottom, just laying there. But it is time to be adding us a little more of that alder wood. And remember me telling you about that peach tree that didn't make it? It goes in there as well. Now folks, if you can't be finding none of that alder wood, I ask you to use something that's got a really light flavor, a really sort of a sweet, mellow smoke, and that'll be fruit wood. You can use cherry, you can use apple. Now sure, you can start that off with oak, but I think sometimes that hickory or mesquite gets a little overpowering on fish because remember that fish is really porous and it's gonna accept sort of what we put on it. So, hey, keep it light, keep it mellow, and let's keep it happy for the little fishies. Made me do the swimming fish fish. I'll tell you right now, this is my preferred method to have catfish. Whoa! I'm not gonna fry no more standing out there over that hot grease when I can throw it on this smoker and just let it do the work all in its own. As always, I tip my hat to our servicemen and women, all the veterans who are keeping that old flag flying safe. And folks, remember, there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world out there. But you can come right up here, pull up a chair in your living room, your apartment, your motor home, your pickup. Got a lot of big old truck drivers, 18 wheelers that watch us pull us up right there on the phone. We're all family here. That's what it's about. Get you some catfish you can buy them at the store or go reel you one in because guess what? It's some fine dining. And as always, God bless you, each and every one. Thank you for watching our video. Take 14, okay? I got you, Shan. I got you, baby. Oh, I thought we was gonna do some Sonny and Cher.